Hi guys, it's Kate Brochu, and here's what happened this week in Westfield. A motorcycle driver was seriously injured in a crash at North Avenue and East Broad Street early Friday evening, according to Westfield Police Chief David Wayman. A helicopter landed at Westfield High School around 6 p.m. to transport the victim to University Hospital. According to Wayman, the accident is still under investigation and appears to be a one-vehicle accident. The body of a 41-year-old man from Belvedere was found in Tamaquas Park Saturday afternoon. Citing the ongoing investigation, police have released little information except to say that his death is not suspicious. Tuesday night's town council meeting was standing room only as residents packed in to show their support for and concerns about a proposed ice rink at Gumbert Park. The council plans to take a vote on the rink on May 22nd. An FAQ about the rink is posted on the town's website and a Facebook Live event on the subject is available for viewing on the town's Facebook page. Improvements to Keller Stadium that were originally planned to begin this week are delayed due to a lawsuit. H&S Construction filed a protest against the Westfield School District after the school awarded a contract for the summer work to Your Way Construction. The protest cited a lack of required documents in their proposal. Westfield's annual Bulky Waste Pickup, also known as Junk Day, has been postponed and could be canceled after no company's bid on the job this spring. The drop in demand for America's recycling in China has driven up the cost of such programs, officials said. The playground at Minnewaskin Park will be closed from about July through August for the installation of all-new, handicap-accessible equipment. Donations and grants totaling $560,000 will offset the playground's $850,980 cost. Westfield High School is back on U.S. News & World Report's list of best high schools in the nation after a two-year hiatus, ranking number 29 in New Jersey and number 770 in the country on the 2018 list. The Westfield Rotary Club has awarded first-grade teacher Mary Montez its 2018 Phil Hauer Fellowship. The fellowship honors the Tamaquas Elementary School teacher for her outstanding teaching at the elementary level. Senior tennis player Damian Ruparel is this week's Ron Bansky & Associates All-State Westfield Athlete of the Week. Coming up this weekend, the Friends of the New Jersey Festival Orchestra will host its annual tour of Notable Homes, and Chris Barron of the Spin Doctors will perform at the JCC Saturday night. For more information on these events and to learn more about what's happening in our area, be sure to visit the Tap into Westfield events page. That's it for your Westfield Weekly Recap. Be sure to check back next week to stay in the know on Westfield News.